everyone welcome back to my channel cross stitcher ak my name is agna and today i will show you my um, check-in for a week so that's my two uh, whips uh, updates and um, i will tell you something about my um, organization in all what i do with all my whips uh, I decided before I actually was doing the thing like um, writing down like uh, the name of, of um, uh, some design, then what's the fabric, how many colors and so on. When I started, how many days I stitched and so on. I have decided that I'm not going to do that anymore. And for me, it's not for just the YouTube and um, the videos. Uh, they actually do record and the picture and uh, when it was uh, up uh, updates and when it was uploaded on YouTube and I decided that it's enough for me and I won't have to have any notes, any notebooks or anything like that so it's much easier and less space in, in my uh, craft room and uh, less space um, anywhere like I mean uh, I don't I don't even need the pen <laughs> um, in general I do have some uh, some plans done I have um, my plans for a year I have done like this I wrote how many I plan to do and uh, my plan of a uh, month and some videos and stuff like that what I do and my projects so uh, I have decided to have just a short plan and a short um, notes but the rest of it it will be on youtube because it's much easier but even if i put uh, like let's say i stitch one web like one day and i put the plus on it so there is no picture on it i don't know how how much i stitched and I don't know how many stitches I did, like, even if I do know how many stitches, but I don't see it. I tried to do organization on a computer as well by pictures, but then I said it's just too much work. I got frustrated and I said, like, no, I will do just videos and it will be enough for me. So today I will show you again my um, Soda Stitch um, uh, Sweet Bears. Uh, that's a 10 layer design. Uh, I will repeat a little bit what I'm stitching uh, on and uh, how many colors and all. So that would be 28 colors of DMC and I stitch on charge to count even with fabric with the polka dots on them. So um, on it. So I have stitched this week, last week actually, uh, the third layer. And I finished them. I had just a little bit done last week when I showed you. And um, like this hat here, a little bit macaroon and this bagel here or whatever it's called. And I stitched the rest of it in three days. And I did the back stitch on as well. It was an interesting, interesting fact that uh, I stitched the only one heart shaped sweet in this design on 14th of february so as you all know it's valentine's day and it's the only thing in all design that has a heart shape it was stitched exactly that day i didn't plan that uh it just happened uh on facebook um we have um like uh showing the uh, a w the web of uh, a day or a week uh, the one you stitching on or something just whatever you do that day maybe um, we show that day our whips and uh, it was so funny because uh, it was Valentine's Day and it was uh, exactly that heart in a pan like like in, in that post it was like that like my comment was with this uh, lovely heart so um, it was really funny and uh, I said, okay, that's that's kind of like a m magic thing already. And um, I entered in, um, I entered the challenge and I have to stitch of this one 5,500 stitches, but I've done just 4,200 because I finished the third layer and it wasn't enough stitches just to, just to participate in that one. So I still have like 13 days, I think so, 
to do the rest of the stitches so I need a thousand two hundred stitches so it will be just on the fourth layer the one I will have to do I'm kind of hoping that I'm gonna finish all that layer that it would be less and less and less to finish but um, I'll see how it goes the next project the one I had to do was the random number that's the challenge where we have our um, whips written down and we give them numbers from 1 to 20 some of them whips can have like you know six numbers uh, random numbers or whatever and then one girl actually give us a random number and I have um, um, I've got this week to stitch this lovely design now I'll show you preview the preview is uh, from original kit and I do stitch by original kit it's the really old one it's 1997 so um, it's pretty much old and it's made in US as you all know dimensions had um, different kind of um, kits it's um, US and made in US and made in China so I stitched this one from, uh, made in US it's um, 3837 the code of it and uh, the the main uh, stitching area is uh, 41 by 41 centimeter and um, it's on 28 count t, uh, t dye Monaco fabric that's even weave it's the same like would be 14 count Ada but as you all know even weave is much <laughs> much better <laughs> so um, what I was doing on that one I um, stitch the back stitch on these three roses and um, I stitch everything whatever is on top from this line the one I show you now so whatever I stitch over here it's uh, in them couple days because the ra I got a random number on Friday so I could stitch um, uh, from Friday until next Friday and uh, what I was going to say, this uh, this design is not really easy. It's stitched by three strands everywhere, except one of the half stitches, which one is done in four strands, and one of the blend, two blends actually, the ones uh, have uh, gold metallic in it. So uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it looks like that. I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna stitch the uh, stitch that in two strands, whatever the, the cotton thread is, and then stitch the metallic on top of it. So probably it will be much easier for me, and it would look not much nicer because now I don't see that gold at all. Uh, even through camera, you barely see it's just a little small thing shiny over here, but in general, you can barely see. It. So um, that's half over here. I got with one color. Like with them three stitches, that's the half. So I need to do up to here. Uh, of course, I entered again with the new pro, new new whip to the project, the one we do cross after cross, uh, and it's uh, to me for me now it's uh, two thousand five hundred stitches to do on this one. I've done um, a little bit more than thousand, so I still have like a thousand to go or kind of the same amount so I presume that would be like up to half on this side well I didn't do the French knots over here because they are made from uh, six strands like a full thread the one that goes in the kit and I didn't do any lazy daisies here but I did do back stitch so uh, I will have to do the back stitch on this one then on these leaves too I did a little bit here backstitch as well but but uh, anyways I'm not gonna count that for the challenge the one I'm, I entered in so that would be my whip number two for this week what I was going to show you now I wanted to show you the organization the one I do I can't show you the chart but I can show you key well at least a part of it so as you all know in the old kids uh, there is a sign like this where is the heart and four different colors of the dots so that means that uh, the same symbols here 
they've been in different colors. I mean, I have it here green, red, there is a black here you can see, and the red one over there as well. So it's the same symbol, it's just in different colors. And as you see here, it's um, written just the name of uh, the color, but they don't have any codes beside them. So I wrote codes because we all know dimensions codes, you can't buy them threads uh, in any shop, so there's no difference even if you see them on the on the videos and the backstitch is actually disaster there it's just written thin blue lines on the gold ribbon thin black lines on the gold ribbon then remaining thin black lines and stuff like that so i actually have everything written down for me it will be much easier uh, i wanted to show you as well the the organizer why I had those little numbers there written right beside the symbols. So you see here, so, well, barely see. You see the numbers over there. I have them written because um, I um, put on organizer like this. I just, I don't bother drawing any symbols here in, in those places. I just write the numbers. And the same organizer for me works like for any kind of a whip, the one I want, I'll take after this one. So I have all the colors here. There are some more whites, I think so, and the uh, gold metallic um, downstairs somewhere in the box uh, where I stitch now. So, and I have um, here all the blends and here all the colors, the ones didn't go into the plain color, just going into blends. So I have those and here is not enough space for two more backstitch colors, the ones I use for backstitch. So all the colors looking like that, they are lovely. And as I uh, heard, uh, this um, kit again is in make and you can buy this one in uh, made in China. So I don't know how is that for real like or something, but anyways, the, them kits are gone back on market. So that would be it for this week. Uh, I tried to do the short video because uh, just because I decided to do these YouTube videos for me as um, my notes with my all whips and uh, finishes and so on and so on. So um, uh, I do like the idea that um, to, uh, just to film record videos every week. Because uh, anyways, uh, like, I would have to write down a lot. I would have to deal with loads, uh, notes and notebooks and stuff like that. So I just decided that it's much easier for me. And uh, it's probably uh, interesting for you as well to see how my whips go and, and um, so on. So I just decided that it's much better for me. It works. I um, try to talk straight away, like not cutting out any pieces from the videos so that's why my videos are short but uh, there is no uh, any different uh, kind of like uh, photos in the videos or something um what else um i think so for next week i will be stitching this wreath of roses and i'll be stitching soda stitch sweet pears again so probably on those two uh, whips you will have updates next week. I'll try my best to record on Monday because um, today it's Tuesday 19th of February and uh, I do this video like a second time already because I don't do any uh, uh, editing or anything like that. I just try to talk straight away so uh, of course I deleted by mistake so I had to do the video again. And um, I hope you like it. Uh, I hope you will subscribe, like videos, and don't forget to comment down below. I try to answer to comments, like, and or at least to give a heart. Um, if you're interested in any pieces or any information, the one I show you, so ask me, feel free uh, to ask uh, any questions. Uh, I will try my best to answer them. So... Happy stitching and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.